Behind me is London, and each day thousands of commercial vehicle movements take place, delivering all the goods, services and equipment to this fine city. Increasingly we're finding that the policy makers are taking a stronger line on logistics in the urban environment. Whether it's in London or elsewhere, we're seeing new standards around direct vision and air quality. We're here at Freight in the City 2017, one of the world's few events that is solely focused on sustainable urban deliveries. There's over 60 exhibitors here at Freight in the City 2017 showing their response to the direct vision standard or their air quality solutions that are going to be required to meet the forthcoming ultra low emission zone. It's all here in the Great Hall. Mercedes-Benz trucks are delighted to be here at Freight in the City once again at Alexandra Palace. We're an event partner again this year and it's a great opportunity for us to display our vehicles for the, the buying operators to be able to have a good look around them and we're here to support that to answer any questions that they may have. So Freight in the City provides staff with a great opportunity to, to meet with lots of operators and influencers um, because everybody's really coming to this point because they know and they're starting to realise that this is where a lot of innovation is showcased. So a really important date in the calendar for all manufacturers, converters and innovators really in the industry. Transport for London team were here to unveil the new Newt Cargo Nissan ENV200 delivery vehicle. This is zero emissions. Yeah. Sam Clark's the founder of Newt Cargo. Sam, tell us about all these vehicles that are going into service. Um, well, it's a project that we did with Innovate UK uh, in partnership with the Mayor's Office uh, to try and develop some alternative electric vehicles that are largely based on an existing vehicle, but we're, we're making them larger. We're opening the cubic capacity out, so it's going from a four cube van to an eight and a half cube meter van, which in our industry of multi-drop in central London, cube is our greatest challenge, not, not range and not payload. And, and how long is this trial run for? What's the, uh, what, couple what are you years, expecting to find? A couple of years. It started um, about six months ago in the prep, and we've got 18 months worth of data analysis and testing that we'll be disseminating these results out. Um, through papers and through through the mayor's office and the London data store, um, but those, that doesn't, we are not stopping there. The vehicles will continue on fleet and we'll continue to be using them for a number of years to come. So here at the conference program, people are arriving. The hall is filling up. Simon Jack's just about to get things underway. Let's hear what he's got to say. And I'm always amazed, actually, uh, when you go, especially early in the morning around London, central London, how stuff gets in and out and that coexists with people living and working um, so effectively. Uh, the Low City is a fantastic example uh, of the work we can do in partnership with industry to, uh, to get everyone to think about how they can improve the safety uh, and the emission levels for, for their vehicles. So that's that. Freight in the City 2017 is at an end. What a great day. What have we learned? We've learned about innovation. We've learned that this industry is ready for the challenges ahead. Whether it's direct vision, whether it's adapting to the mayor's transport strategy, this industry is in good shape. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again back here November the 6th, 2018, for Freight in the City next year. Thank you.